And welcome back to Yakuza 0. Um, I could have done any of this a little while ago, but uh, over here on Taihei Boulevard, there's the uh, Gandhara shop where you can watch videos in a private booth. Alright, well, uh, I guess uh, I'll leave you to your thing then. Um... Nope, nope, get back here. You're watching with me. Oh, damn it. Um, there are many options here, and these are these all line up with uh the the women we've met, most of them. Even though we desperately wish to avoid them. Eh, yeah. This disturbs me, by the way. Nothing else, I appreciate them going with the actual CRT effect here. Sorta? Sure. I'm just gonna pretend I'm watching him play for a little bit. <laughs> it's a good thing there's music, because I know when it's gonna be over. <laughs> So anyways, what else is, what's new in your life, Chaos? Uh, um, I finished Astral Chain last night. Nice. That was pretty rad. Nice. Alright, I hear the fade out. Uh, I'm trying to make sure, yeah. I'm gonna make sure you're not trying to like, you know, troll me or whatever. Don't worry, it's I'm, over, I'm it's over. It, I'm giving it like two minutes. <laughs> so yeah, uh... The reason I did that was to demonstrate, you know, what what it's like to sit in a booth watching the video. Yeah, okay, if you, sure. <laughs> uh, you get a sub story after you, when you come back after watching three videos. I feel like you could have just skipped that video and just told us anyways. <laughs> So, um, this kid here is, uh, always coming in and watching the same exact video. You know, which have, has anybody told you, buddy, that, like, you can just, I don't know, buy the tape? I'm sure they have at least a couple copies. They, I'd hope they'd be willing to sell at least one. <sighs> it's bad enough when the staff know your name. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, because he's so, like, into this one woman, Ready? now Kiryu's interested. But he won't, uh, let Kiryu rent the tape mm. because he wants to watch it first. Yeah. Again. Of course. People fighting over tapes. So, um... Let's just get this over with and, uh, uh. watch it with him. Yeah, that's not weird. <laughs> This is really not weird. <laughs> you know, I've always seen it as being rather awkward when someone reads the newspaper over your shoulder. But when, when someone's watching a... Uh... An adult video over your shoulder? I'd, I'd rather die, really. <laughs> yeah. This kind of thing isn't the, uh... I don't feel like this is meant to be a shared experience. Well, you know, in some cultures, uh, the, it's acceptable to have the shared experience like that, but uh, it's sometimes frowned upon, you know? Mm, I'm frowning upon this one. At least they're progressive about it. <laughs> So anyways, uh... Oh, thank god, it's over. <laughs> mm. 
Nani? I... I almost <laughs> want to know how much this kid has spent just renting this tape. I'd rather not. Everything about this kid makes me want to just... Take it. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not even going to use that one. Because he probably... <laughs> he, if I said that, he'd probably just want to watch. <laughs> It's almost like that was a pre-recorded tape, kid. <sighs> yeah, I hate when my friends tell me about their Tinder stories, too. <laughs> She's all I can think about. Doesn't even know your name, buddy. <laughs> That's fine. So, uh... So this kid found out that, uh... The girl in that video lives in Comrocho. Because so, uh, that's not weird. Remember, this is the 80s before uh, the internet. Yeah, but I mean, phone books. True, but you'd think people would uh, use stage names in those videos. You've been telling everybody watching this LP to not Google everybody in this LP. Since video one. <laughs> it was more like video 12. Come on. Uh, still, that does not... I don't think that uh, changes the fact... The, um, the fact that you should not Google any of those women. <laughs> At least with people around. Unless you want an experience like this one. Yeah. All right, boys and girls. Get your <laughs> boyfriend slash girlfriend... Watch over your shoulder. <laughs> Google the following names. So, so when we walked by the uh, the Korean barbecue joint, I forget its name again. I think it's Conrai. I this forget. lady walks out. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm really hoping that she's just leaning her head against the wall, standing up. <laughs> I am a robot powering down. <laughs> it does. It did look like that, but no, she's just going to lean on the, the wall for a little while. So, uh, I, I suppose we should go tell him that uh, we found her. I don't feel comfortable with this, but yeah. How is this a win state? Developers, help us out here. <laughs> Not sure who wouldn't enjoy uh, Korean barbecue, dude. I mean, <laughs> never mind. It's too racy a joke for this. So. I'm. Look, man, we were just in a private video booth together. I'm not sure it can get that much more racy. Uh, so here's Mr. Shakedown. Oh, I've been looking for this girl in my. <laughs> my videos so um oh so, yeah I forget if I talked about it or not but his goal is to become the strongest creature on the planet I think I did talk about this yeah the creature part always struck me as weird I mean he just wants to be like the strongest thing yeah but like, you just say like, I want to be the strongest I, I think creature just makes it weird. Hmm. You know, I, I see where you're coming from on this. But yeah, he's uh back in town and he's here to uh raise some funds for his next uh training cool expedition. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, uh we're uh Confiscating these funds. We're mega strong now. Man, I thought that was a lot of money when I saw him, but then I realized that's like maybe a fifth of what I make from real estate on any given payday. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when you power through the game and then go back to do sub stories like this and kill oh, Mr. No, Shakedown. I meant at the time of like 
when this was being recorded, like the video wise, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I was making way more than that payout uh, just from real estate. Mm -hmm. oh. That's uh, that's how you introduce yourself. Hey, I saw you on the CCTV footage. You're so hot. The security guard said I couldn't keep the video, but <laughs> I stole it. Oh wow, some Final Fantasy 14 ads in the back there. Uh, excuse me, I think you mean 15? Could be either. If you look very closely, you can, uh, you can, you can see a, a Nissan Cup Noodle, like, somewhere in the background there. <sighs> I still can't believe, like, they, they, uh... Final Fantasy 15 was used to advertise cup noodles. Everything is used to advertise cup noodle. Oh, I know, but it's like... Final Fantasy 13 was used to advertise fucking Louis Vuitton. Oh. Yeah, see, they got taste. This guy is no tact whatsoever. Nope. You know, why not just be like, instead of being like, oh, you're the video, you're the girl in the video, you could be like, hey, uh, you caught my eye or something. Aww. Do you really want it to help him, though? Well, no, but I'm just saying, like, a normal yeah, person, no, like... a normal person should introduce themselves in a different way. Right, right. For all you people looking for tips on, on how to date women in these videos. So, uh, how's that going for you? Hey, you know what? <laughs> a master never replies his own teachings. So. <laughs> Have you moved on from uh, option number four yet? No. <laughs> I'm still in a state of depression. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, it's okay, we're gonna go beat up some horny dudes. Uh, they're called street thugs. Not to be confused by the more common street hugs that people see uh, these days. Yeah, I don't- I have a feeling these guys, uh, aren't so, um... Amicable? ...loving towards, like, uh... Hear you and the melancholy man. Yeah. If you're out in public, the best way to tell the difference is that usually the street hug people have signs. Right, right. So, I, I, I'm just. I believe I just uh, kind of wait around a little bit to see if um, our buddy's gonna grab him so we can try to do a, like a co op action. Oh, there we go. Ah, lovely shining wizard right there. <laughs> He's good for something, after all. If this was a wrestling game, then the guy would have ducked and you would have beat the shit out of our uh, weirdo guy here. That would also have been an acceptable outcome. Here you know. Sometimes you don't need to see things through. Yeah, you know what? You're not supposed to help the creepy people. Hi. <laughs> My name's... Mm. You know, that doesn't really matter for someone as beautiful as you. Huh? No? Yeah, so you're not gonna rate these, uh, these lines? Nope, I want no part of that. Hey, you know what? At least this guy has principles. Yeah. Maybe everybody <laughs> could learn a lesson. <laughs> when you get rejected, it's it's fine. You move on. Unfortunately, uh, he got rejected again. Oh, she's just not that into you. 
with <laughs> Kiryu. <laughs> <laughs> Disgustingly obvious. <laughs> How can you say no to a shirt as shiny as that? I have that same reaction every time I get rejected, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> oh, and please buy that as an avatar for Jabo. <laughs> <laughs> the text should just read, oh god, it's happening again. <laughs> anyway, after we've, uh, after that, uh, we can, um, we can go talk to this guy outside our business. Which, uh, oh, so, uh, this kid got, um, fired from his job. He must have had one of those objectives where if he didn't find a girlfriend, he'd get fired. Probably. But hey, he... he we'll we'll uh, help him out. Give him a job. We seem to be doing that a lot. I guess when you're the boss, it really, uh... You can just do whatever you want. Yeah, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, um... To wrap things up for this video, uh, I lost the first part of this friend event. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where that clip went, but if you go to the sushi shop, sushi shop, yeah, sushi at shop, yeah, uh, at like the entrance of Tenkaichi Street, um, mm -hmm. you can you can become friends with uh, the guy here, the chef, mm -hmm. to uh, raise this friend event, eat sushi, and eventually. Uh, they'll talk about uh, getting fresh ingredients, and Kiryu will talk about how uh, sometimes he goes fishing. I was for sure he was going to be mad at us for fishing without a license. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're going to go fishing. And he will provide us... Uh, um, fresh, uh, free sushi for whatever ingredients we bring in. I don't think I actually went fishing. I think I bought all this fish off the black market. <laughs> wow, going from illegal caching to illegal purchases. Uh, <laughs> you're here you gonna, go. You're going to kill an innocent axolotl. Wow. How do you know it was it wasn't already dead? I bought it off the black market. <laughs> <laughs> There's even even mafia music being played in the background. Uh. I don't know how I feel about him being able to make sushi out of a soft shell turtle. <laughs> I look, some things I try not to ask. <laughs> uh. Also, I think in the background is a uh. karaoke song from Yakuza 3. I think it's uh, Kamurocho Lullaby. <laughs> Which, uh. I thought I could hear Kiryu singing. Kiryu does sing the song in Yakuza 3. <laughs> I mean, he's singing the song right now. Uh. I, f I feel like he is too. No, he is. <laughs> it's not a I feel like he is. <laughs> uh. You know, this song does have, like, an, an official singable English translation now. <laughs> so, uh, look forward to that whenever we get to, uh, Yakuza 3 through 5. Woo! Uh. <laughs> So, just a little more to this friend event. He's sitting in my chair. Probably a restaurant crew. <laughs> Next, you'll tell me that weirdo, uh, that weirdo, like, boy band member with the, uh, black leather jacket's also probably a critic. I mean, everybody's a critic. 
You just shouldn't always trust some people's opinions. <laughs> That's the real difference. Never forget to pour the bean juice. Oh, that too. That's the spirit. Boy. Hey. Yeah. Boy. Genji, I think you need a better playlist or some new records. No, it's just the same thing over and over again. <laughs> the only way to ever truly feel alive. <laughs> Sometimes you like the song so much you just play it over and over and over and over and over again. Oh no, I get that. Like when I drive, I drive around like the past couple, like the past week, I've been listening to uh, one specific song off the Astral Chain soundtrack, like on repeat. Mm. But that's also just you know, me in the privacy of my own car. This is a, a restaurant where you're serving people who might not be into Kamrucho Lullaby. Well, the only thing I can say is uh, years ago, I remember going to a sushi place and I could swear that the same song played for about an hour straight. Um, the food was mediocre, so it made the entire experience probably the worst I've ever had in a sushi place. Oh no. And that's my sushi story for today. <laughs> Man, I want sushi now. <laughs>